revamped show what's happening i'm carol smirkwood and i'll be your host for this evening and i suppose i should introduce my co-host kelly willy booby kelly are you there of course i'm here carol <laughs> i'm always here i'm so excited about our show what's happening carol <laughs> Yes, what's happening, Kelly? <laughs> no, actually, what is happening, Carol? <laughs> well, you may have noticed we have a brand new, spanking new titles for the show. I'm in a new location. I have a new outfit, new hair, and fresh lipstick. <laughs> There's nothing like someone making just too much effort, is there? <laughs> Carol. <laughs> well, you might have noticed that I have replaced my farting sofa with a sofa that looks exactly the same but doesn't make any noise, Carol. Listen! <laughs> no noise at all. <laughs> and I also have this glass-featured plant which makes all the difference. <laughs> Carol, what is that you have there? Is that sweet peas? <laughs> yes, Kelly. They're dried. <laughs> a bit like yourself, Carol. Anyway, talking about the show and having a makeover, we have got a brand new section of the show with questions and feedback from you, the viewers at home. That's right, Kelly. We'll be taking some comments from our fake book fans and titter teats. <laughs> this part of the show is called What's the Crack? What's the Crack? What's the Crack? Welcome to What's the Crack? <laughs> this is where we listen to you, our viewers at home. We love your cracks. And let's start off with a question from at How's Your Ma, who asks, are Kelly Willy Boobies boobies actually real? And if they're not, what were they like before the plastic surgery? Over to you, Kelly. <laughs> oh, at how's your ma? And she's fine, thanks for asking. Yes, I'm delighted to say that my boobies really are very natural. I am all natural, unlike Carol, who's been under the knife several times now, haven't you, Carol? <sighs> right, up next we have a question from at Big Tommy 1978. Oh, hello, Big Tommy, who asks, do you have any men on your show? And can I come own it if you do? <laughs> Carol, over to you. Good question at Big Tommy 1978. Well, we have had Robert Peston on as a guest, Kelly, but he's been our only man to date, I think. Uh, I'm sure Kelly would love you to come own her sofa for an interview, wouldn't you, Kelly? She has <laughs> had lots of men she's interviewed. That's right, at Big Tommy 1978, you're always welcome to come on my sofa anytime, Big Tommy. Right, shall we move on to at I'm a Pure Belter Gardener. I'm Fee Posel and I think Geraldine is pure dead brilliant. <laughs> Her windy boxes are the best. Oh, we couldn't agree more at I'm a Pure Belter Gardener. <laughs> and you are in luck as we have Geraldine McGraw on the show tonight. And last, but by no means least, we've heard from at Do You Think I'm Sexy, who asks, do you think that swiping right for everybody means you're desperate? Over to you, Kelly. <laughs> Well, what can I say at do you think I'm sexy? And I'm sure you are. My advice to you would be to swipe right if they're hot and swipe left if they're not. 
because otherwise you'll get stuck with all these people that you simply don't find attractive. You know, you'll get lumbered with them. <laughs> lumbered cattle, <laughs> excuse the pun. <laughs> it's very important that they, you find them attractive on the inside, Carol. It's not all about the outside, it's the inside as well. Yes, well, beauty really is in the eye of the beholder, isn't it, Kelly? And that's maybe why you're still single. Anywho, shall we introduce our guests for tonight's show? Starting off, we have Insta influencer Kelly Fialowa. I just, I can't wait for Kelly P. Aloha, Carol. I just can't wait. I cannot wait. And um, then we are going to be going over to our gardener, Fee Postle. It's our very own Geraldine McGraw. Carol, I wonder how her pineapples are. Oh, totally tropical, Kelly, I'd imagine. <laughs> and then we have Vicky Dobbs does hings. And I wonder what hing uh, Vicky will be talking about tonight. And uh, she might have some tips for you, Kelly. <laughs> You're really trying to tip me over the edge, Carol. <laughs> Last but really by no means least, we join our resident film and TV critic. It's Mrs. Betty Gamble, O-B-E-G-T-F, W. T F and I wonder where she'll be joining us from tonight, Carol. She really does get about, doesn't she? <laughs> Bit like yourself, Kelly. <laughs> right, talking of the crack, let's crack on with the show and please give a warm welcome to Kelly Fialowo. <laughs> Carol, there she is. Oh, I can't believe it, Kelly. I follow you on Insta. So do I, so do I, Kelly, so do I. Oh, thanks a lot. I'll hate you for you back, eh? Oh, that would be amazing, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, on. really, you are what we would say some woman. You really are. When I see your post on Instagram, I think I really do want to be a grown up someday. <laughs> You really are such a role model for women. I would love to ask you, Kelly. I mean, obviously we have the same name and that's <laughs> a bit of a... A bit confusing, eh? <laughs> yes, because we look so similar, don't we, Kelly? <laughs> anyway, um, right. So I want to ask, uh, my first question is, how did you get into being an influencer, Kelly, for Aloha? Well, I got dumped a... Eh? So I just thought to myself, I need to do something else with my life. I did some beauty stuff, worked in a shop and that. And I just thought, Ken, what? I'm doing it. And I thought, I'll just do, I need to be an influencer, eh? So I just decided to start my own channel and just get all my, my ideas out there, eh? And inspire folk, eh? So I just thought, why no? So inspiring, Kelly. You're so inspiring. But do tell me, Kelly, I was wondering, who would your role model be? Well, I was uh, start all my videos in that way. The catchphrase, right? It's go a uh, Kim K slash Kelly Faye Aloha. You know what I mean? That's I just love her, eh? Cause Kim K, she's just brilliant. You can't even know like her. Ken, what I mean? Mm. Kelly. Mm. She's going through such a lot at the moment as well, isn't she, Kelly? Oh, honestly, I just take my heart off to her. If I had Jen, I'd take it off because, mm -hmm. honestly, I that family is just, oh, what a bother, eh? But she's doing all right. She's keeping it together, eh? So, Absolutely. Yeah. All that, and she's brilliant. I just love her. I would take everything off to her, not just my hat, Kelly. <laughs> Anyway, um, I wanted to say that I, I can't help but notice when I follow you on the Instagram that your, your beauty methods are, are, are a wee bit um, unorthodox. So, so tell us a bit about why that is. Well, I just can't afford all the things that Kim K gets done. Ken, what I mean? Like mm -hmm. She can afford like uh, lip fillers and Botox and surgery and everything. No, that I'm saying she's had all that, but she, if she wanted it, she could hear it. And because she's like a billionaire. And like, um, no. So uh, I'm just like, I'm gonna hate it. Think outside the box. 
and help folk eh, that that are just like, well, I'm wanting bigger lips or a bigger arse or anything like that. Maybe no wanting wrinkles and that. So you've got to think outside the box, eh? Mm -hmm. That's so true, Kelly, so true. But tell me, you've got quite a few strings to your bone, no mistake. And is it true that you're, you're actually a celebrant too? I, you know, I just thought to myself, Kelly, why no branch it even further hen? Ken what I mean? So I needed to make a wee bit more money to because I've no got that many followers or anything yet. Yeah. Um, so I just thought who wouldn't want a celebrant that looks like Kim K can send a wee poem and all that at their funeral or wedding or that. And um and I was booked recently for a wee um a wee dog's a wee dog passed away. Oh. And, and I said totally brought me poem and uh, do you want me to read it for you? Oh yes please, we're a fan of a dog on what's happening. Because I can put myself out there, I, I'm good at poetry so anyone needs a poem for anything like that. So, um, well I started up saying this is for Stan. Um, his name was Stan and he was some wee man. He loved watching Kim K, which is why I'm here today. A right character he sure was, but he wasn't happy when he lost his boss. And he loved his food tea. He liked to have a chew. That was fine until he did a giant poo. But tonight, Stan, though your bed is empty, you're no forgotten. The memories are a plenty. <sighs> Cheerio, Stan. May you hate two big bra balls again in heaven. I know he barely trying to hump you. Oh, Kelly, I bet Stan's wee doggy pals were all chuffed to bits with that poem. Well, you'd think he, but thing was, I turned up at the wrong end, eh? It was a man named Stan, wasn't he a dog? So, wee bit of a mix up there, eh? Oh, Kelly, we're Stan the man's boss cut off as well. Well, actually, you wouldn't believe it, but he had actually lost one of them. Unbelievable, eh? I can. It was like I was meant to be there or something. Ken. That is really unbelievable, Kelly. Did you did you know that Hitler only had one ball? Eh, I remember a song about him, I think, eh? Hitler only had one ball, Hitler only had one ball. I mean, and look at the absolute disasters that he achieved. He really killed the whole human race, didn't he, Kelly? But anyway, let's move on and stop talking about Adolf Pig and Hitler, shall we? What's happening? What's happening? Anyway, Kelly, tell us, you are going to have a magical transformation live on our show this evening, Kelly. Tell us a bit about what that involves. Well, the day I thought I would do something to do with your lips, eh? Try and make them really big and that, like Kim K, because she's got big, beautiful lips, Ken, what I mean? They're just like two big, giant sausages stuck together, Ken, what I mean? And I want that too, Ken! So, eh, the good news is, right, you didn't hate to spend a penny. You have already got this in your house. So, stick with me, and you'll have big, bro, plump lips. Oh, Kelly, we can't wait to see what surprises you've got in store for us this evening. So we'll let you go and get ready, Kelly, and we'll join you again soon. Thank you, Kelly Fee Aloha. See you soon, Kelly. See you later. Thanks a lot, Cheerio. What's happening? Oh, Carol, I cannot wait to see what Kelly Fee Aloha's big sausage lips will be like. <laughs> I know, it's so thrilling, so exciting and so unorthodox. <laughs> but next up, our wonderful guest is just about to arrive. It's Geraldine, the Gairdner Faye Postle. Geraldine, are you there? Hello, Geraldine, and welcome back to the show. <laughs> well, we hear that there's been some exciting developments for you. Can you tell us all about it? There has, Carol. Hello, Kelly. It's nice to see you. Um, I'm, I'm really excited. I can't, I can't hardly even speak about it. I'm so excited. When I went over, uh, I had to go to uh, Australia. Uh, I just went on a wee budget flight uh, and I had to take the kookaburras back because they had to go into quarantine and then I couldn't come back with them. So I stayed for two weeks and somebody heard about the wee postal window box company and I couldn't believe it. So 
they want me to do some filming over there and they're going to give me seeds and stuff, like Australian stuff to grow. And then I can maybe bring them back. And then I can put them at the flats and then beside the trees and, and, and the kookaburras, will, will, by that time, will be able to come back and they'll, they'll mix with the budgies. Can you believe it? <laughs> they want me to do filming and all. That is amazing, Geraldine. So you have been down under. I've been down under, down under doing a lot of work and all. <laughs> um, so what, what, what I've come up with, the last time, I, I, you know, when I've got the budgies and I'm going to put them in the trees up the side of the flats so they don't fly away, I've made, I've made, wee, I've made wee hooks for them, for their, for their neck. And then you just tie, you tie that right onto your veranda or on the tree and then they'll no fly away. And it's just soft, it's just caught, I've just crocheted it. You made them yourself, Geraldine. What talent. Aye. Aye, it's just soft. It'll no hurt their wee necks. And the kookaburras are about the same size. They're a wee bit bigger. But I can make bigger ones. And, I, and you just put that on them. And then you tie it at your veranda. And then you Geraldine, get bur- does that, bur- does that not feet. hurt the wee budgie or kookaburras' necks? No, 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 no. It's soft. It's soft. Look, it stretches. Stretches easy. Oh. oh. And that's, have that's you ever fun. tried to make any of them for, for humans, Gerald? You know, I was thinking maybe <laughs> some people's partners like to wander off. Maybe they would like to tie them to the veranda. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, well, I've never thought of that, but I could make big ones if you, you want one, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need one. I don't need to tie my man up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can make big ones. Would you like one? Would you like one, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> no need to tie my man down. <laughs> oh Carol, you're funny. Anyway, no, I can make big ones, I can make big ones, I can do any size. But that's my idea. And they're gonna give me seeds and I can bring them out and I can do other windy boxes for possible and I can start just doing could even put 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 a different name on it. You could include the Australian name or something. What would that be, Geraldine? The wee Australian Postal Windy Box Company. Something like that. Uh-huh. How do they how do they say it over in Australia there, Geraldine? How is that? The 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 wee Australian Windy Box Company. That sounded South African, I think. I was I'm taken sure. right to Ramsey Street. I was taken to Ramsey Street. I'm surprised uh, they didn't walk out and give us all a technical the dream coat hug. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's that's my that's my my, my news, girls. It's just it's just gonna go stratosphere. I can't, I, just, I can't believe that this is happening to me, but I'm just going to go with it. Just going to go with it. It's a right good good eye, mate, <laughs> to Hi. you, and a bon voyage on your travels, and we can't wait to have you on the show again soon. Thanks very much. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Kelly. It's, it's all nice. down to you. It's all down to you. Pick up the postal. Back up the parcel, Geraldine. Good day. I'll see you next time. See you next time. Thanks very much for your help. You're welcome. What's happening? <laughs> well, hasn't Geraldine been on an amazing journey all the way for parcel to Dune and <laughs> oh, Carol, you're doing funny accents. I do love it, Dune and <laughs> Yes, that's what I've heard, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go back to Kelly Faye Aloha and see how she's getting on with her trout pout. Minute, oh, starting to work the way. Aye. Oh, Kelly, that's so innovative. Kelly, I bet you that tasted disgusting, did it not? 
Well, I cleaned it with an antibacterial wipe, eh? Oh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> a wee bit lemony, but I think it's starting to work, eh? So just give us a wee while longer and I'm kidding you. So this spout though, see, you have to do the bottom lip separately and all that. So what I'm going to do is take this off just to get it quicker, eh? And see this big kind of circular thing, the hole here. I'm just going to use the heel hang on both lips at the same time, and then it'll be dub, like done, I think, doubly fast, quicker. Anyway, yeah. so I will like, just get the go the new. I Good luck, Kelly. We can't wait to see the results of this. <laughs> I'll stay at the new. <laughs> What's happening? Ooh! Well, I've never had a hoover in my mouth. Have you, Kelly? Indeed I have not, Carol. There's many things been in my mouth, but a hoover is not one of them. <laughs> Let's move on to our next guest. It is Vicky Dobbs. I wonder what kind of hing she'll be talking to us about tonight. Vicky, are you there? <laughs> Welcome to What's Happening, Vicky Dobbs. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> Hello, my chickadees. Vicky Dobbs here. Now, in these strange times, it's very important that you're surrounded by your friends. This here is a Vicky Dobbs special where I'd like to introduce you to all my nearest and dearest. This here's Marjorie and Tim Murray. Lisa, she has seen better days, you know. She like. This is uh, Rebecca, and this here is Victoria. No, <coughs> oh, she's a cheeky one, oh. No, I'm not. Stop it, you. Always trying to steal my thunder. And this here is. Clara Philippi. Oh, she's she's very fertile, germinating all over the place. <laughs> Her leaves are nice and sticky, dripping with sap. Spunky. She's got her own Instagram page. More followers than Louis Capaldi. There she is. Pride of place, all glossy and gorgeous. What? 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 What's what? You know, Cardi B, wet ass plantsy, eh? spores in this house, there's some spores in this house, spores in this house, there's some spores in this house. I said, certified freak, seven days a week. Wet ass plants say, don't make your terracotta leak. Yeah, you fucking with some wet ass plants say, take a bucket and a mop for this wet ass plants say. Everything you got from this wet ass plants say. Wet ass plants say. Wet no. ass plants say. No, 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 Vicky, no. <laughs> oh. Sorry, chicks. <laughs> Waffle bubbler. Just before I go, I'd like to say that it is very important that you're surrounded by your friends and, and make sure that you're checking on them, you know. Make sure they're all right. You just never know. Could be like your auntie Vicky here. Dancing in your pants and talking to the plants. Cheerio then. Cheerio Vicky and we can't wait for you to join us again soon in your pants talking to your plants and doing that dance. Take care of yourself, Vicky, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> What's happening? Carol, some rather unexpected dancing from Vicky Dobbs there. <laughs> yes, and I think I'm going to be doing a bit of whapping myself tonight. Ooh, 
you wipe away, Carol, wipe away. <laughs> now let's return to Kelly Faye Aloha to find out how her luscious lips are getting on. What's happening? Oh my goodness, Carol! Did you see Kelly Faye Aloha's lips going into that thing? Her whole face was nearly in it. I mean, the suction must be quite incredible on it. Well, you'd know all about sucking, wouldn't you, Kelly? <laughs> That's right, Carol. I'm quite the expert. You do know where to come if you need any tips. <laughs> Well, shall we head over to our next guest? It's our resident film and TV critic, Mrs. Betty Gamble, O-B-E-G-T-F-W-T-F. <laughs> Hello, Betty Gamble, OBE, GTF, WTF. Welcome to What's Happening? Hello. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, ladies. I'm in Hawaii. I just like to say welcome back. I hope you've had a lovely summer. You look rested, well rested, too rested, a little too rested. You look unemployed. I'd like to thank my new and huge fan base. I'm now trending on uh, Twitter with my own hashtag, hashtag can lock Berry down, hashtag won't lock Berry down. Uh, it's based on how much traveling around them. They're not about how much the police and Interpol are after me because they're not. And if you've heard anything to the contrary, I'm uh, not in Hawaii, I'm in Alaska. It's freezing here. And, uh, and that's not a fan you hear in the background. It's a helicopter leaving. And it's after dropping off my good pal, Debbie McGee. She came with me and I'd just like to add, I am not affiliated with the Gambellini family at all. Yes, I was once married to Michael Gambellini and then he was shot. And then I came to Alaska with my good friend, Debbie McGee. And we're just sitting here in our ice holes. Yeah. She's also a widow, uh, as you know. She was once married to the late magician Paul Daniels. She was once part of his double act where he'd shake his little stick at her and she'd reach in his magic hat and pull out a string full of silk. And, and she was once, uh, but then he sadly he died and uh, he went on the box instead of her. I could see why Paul... Uh, wanted her to disappear all the time though she's so tight keeps bringing me break keeps bringing her own sandwiches over to save money we went to watch a, a spaced out magic act that's not a socially distancing magic act that's a magic act where everyone is stoned they pump the hashish through the air vents and everyone gets mullered it's not my cup of tea but by the time i realized what was being pumped out of the vents i couldn't even say the word tea never mind drinking tea. Anyway, I reached into my bag to get a handkerchief because my mouth was starting to leak down the side. I thought I was having a small stroke and I reached and I came out with a spam wrap. I said, Debbie McGee, did you bring your own spam wraps to this magic show? You're as tight as cling film on a gimp mask on a choir boy. And I mean, come on, she must have the money. Nobody's milked a little wizard as much as her since J.K. Rowling. Now, let's take a look at what to watch and what not to watch on TV this week. Let's start with the fight at the Kardashians' house. Well, I have seen more brain cells on Hannibal Lecter's ape in front. In this episode, Courtney and Kim end up having a right old ding, -doy, ding dong, and Kim Kardashian is relentless in her pursuit of Courtney, chasing her up and down the house, slapping seven shades of Shinola out of her. 
showing the world and America she is exactly what we need for a first lady. If only Melania had the same amount of energy and slapping ability. But once again, we see that Kim proves herself to be the biggest and the best slapper for the job. So we here at What's Happening wish her all the best for a future at the White House with Kanye Loop the fucking Loop West. And that will be a fitting end to what has been a 2020. That's the Kardashians, the big fight on ITV2 and at six o'clock, repeat it again at seven, then eight, and then nine, and then all uh, every hour after that until every man in the UK has uh, pulled the lid off it. And that video is not Kim's favorite one of, or most popular one of the sport, the one in which she's wrestling with a giant snake. Anyway, I must fly. I've decided to look for another husband. And next week, I'll be popping over to Esther T to stay with my old pal, Leo Sayre. And that's life on the B-list, ladies. It's all travel and red carpet events. I've been in more countries than COVID-19, and I've had my face on more red carpet than an Irish lesbian. Okay, until next time, aloha, or whatever they say in Alaska. Back to the studio. Aloha, Betty, and we cannot wait for you to come back to what's happening. <laughs> aloha. What's happening? Well, that was Mrs. Betty Gamble, O-B-E-G-T-F-W-T-F. What? I had no idea. She knew Debbie McGee and Paul Daniels. I'm such a huge fan. I know, Carol. That Betty Gamble pulls more names out of a hat than any magician ever did a rabbit. <laughs> anyway, listen, talking of magic... Why don't we see how Kelly Fee Aloha is getting on with her magical makeover? Let's see how those big sausage lips are doing. What do you think? Kelly, have you have you seen yourself on screen there? You, you look like you look like You've burned your lips off your face almost. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. She seems to have lost the ability to speak, Carol. She's burned her voice away as well, I tell you. I'll be keeping my Dyson firmly in the cupboard. What about you, Carol? Absolutely. And I think we should call an ambulance. I think we should too. Viewers at home, please don't put a Hoover or a Dyson or any other make next to your lips. Kelly, we hope you feel a bit better this evening. An ambulance is on its way. It's been lovely to have you on the show, Kelly Faye Alawa. We hope to see you again soon, Kelly. Bye-bye. <laughs> she can't actually speak, Carol. She can't actually speak. She's lost it. What's happening? Well, Kelly, my Dyson will be staying firmly in the cupboard tonight. <laughs> a little bit like your husband, Carol. Anyway, all that's left for us to do is to thank our very special guest this evening. And please don't forget about What's the Crack? Where we listen to you, the viewers at home. What's the crack? What's the crack? So I am Kelly Willy Booby, and this is my co-host Carol Smirkwood. Do join us again next week for more What's Happening? What's surfing? What's happening? What's happening? What's surfing? What's happening? What's her face?